Now, I've talked about many times about quitting smoking and trying to prep your body and try to be as in best shape as you can. And there are just some things you can't prep for. I mean, it's great if you can do sit-ups, if you can jog, you can run, you can carry a pack, wonderful. You know, you can quit smoking, you can quit drinking. Um, there's many things that you know yourself and what you're doing to your body. There are some things you have no control over. You very well could get a stroke. You very well could catch cancer. Maybe contributed through smoking or just catch cancer, period. Now, there's a guy on YouTube called James Yeager. And if you don't know who he is, he's been on YouTube forever. A lot of people have a love-hate relationship with that guy. You either love him or you hate him. And uh, he has a training school that trains people how to shoot guns in Camden, Tennessee. He's actually only about, I don't know, a couple hours from me. And uh, he has a very cocky attitude. But the people that have trained with him say he's great. So there's that. Now, years ago, James Jagger had ended up making some video where he said he was going to take his guns and he was going to start shooting things up. Well, that just went up into a red flag, FBI, I mean, government, everybody was all over him. He lost his YouTube channel. Um, they took away his carrying permits. I mean, he went through hell because of those few words he said by flipping out on a multi on, on, on a video. And uh, which really surprised me because I was like, so what? The guy was angry. But they took it very serious. Now, he did get everything back. He did everything, get everything organized. And then after that, he was very careful what he said after that because, I mean, that was his business just about gone from one mistake. And, uh, you know, he's got a wife, kids. He's a grandfather. I mean... He's supporting a lot of people. He's got people at work for him. I mean, a lot of responsibility. He found out on that day he just can't do whatever he wants, even though he felt he could. Well, the years have passed with James Jagger. He, he was always quite well built and in good shape. And uh, he has what's looking like some hatred in him now. And uh, he had made a bit of saying he might have ALS. If you remember James Yarrigan back in the day, he had a very strong voice, very outgoing, um, where now he sounds like he's had a stroke. His voice is very weak. You can see the muscles in his arms have deteriorated. Um, he's gotten fat. I mean, you can see his body's breaking down. Now, in this video, it said, don't feel sorry for me. Don't send me. No, he doesn't want to be reminded of it. Well, so why do this video? I think James Yeager has probably made the biggest mistake of his life. Have you ever heard where people do suicide by cop? You know, that's where you create some situation where the cops show up and you act like you got a weapon or you do have a weapon, you don't have it loaded, and basically the cops take you out, and that's a suicide by cop. When you have ALS, they say you have one to five years to live on average. Well, apparently, in his last couple of videos, he has gone to Ukraine with a couple of buddies. I think they're going there to train. Um, hard to say. He did crack some, video, crack some jokes on his couple of videos. One thing that caught my attention, he has a whole bunch of tattoos on his arms of uh, bullets. And he insinuated there were people that he's, he's killed. I don't know how true that is. But... He's just taking a, pr a plane to Poland, and it was funny. He had asked everybody to pay for his ticket. So, of course, all his subscribers donated, like he doesn't have enough money. And um, he's gone to Poland. Now, at the same time, if you want to see videos from him in Ukraine, you got to sign up for a special membership. I don't know which one it was. Who knows, 20 bucks a month, I don't know. And uh, then he would upload videos... And only those people signed up could see it. So on the one hand, it looks like he's trying to go out with a bang. But on the other hand, it looks like he's trying to make even more cash. Now, he did release a video today 
and it was a couple guys, and every time somebody tried to ask a question of where James Yeager is, they wouldn't reply. They wouldn't say, yes, he left, and he's on the plane, or he's there. They wouldn't say nothing. Totally ignored. It. They just talked about what was going on at training in, in the school. So, a lot of weird stuff. But as we get older, we don't know what can take us down. You know, all the prepping and everything you've done, you could very well be struck down, and then that's the end of your life. You're no longer prepping. If they told you you got six months to live, and you're going to die of cancer or ALS or something else like James Jagger's got, what would be the, what would be the use in prepping? And James prepped with a lot. I mean, he did. He had a great big um, bunker set up and food supplies and everything else back in the old days. So you don't know what can come down the pipe. Now, like I said, you can prevent some of it if you smoke or if you drink too much or, you know, this stuff you can prevent. If you weigh too much, you know, weight kills. But there are some things that you can't prevent, like ALS, cancer, I mean, all kinds of things. And it's sad when you catch stuff like that, and there's no way to fight it. Um, AL, AL, ALS is hereditary, and uh, you can go to James, James Yaggard's uh, YouTube channel. You can go to his playlist, and you'll find the one video where he talks about it. You can find his last few videos where he talks about going to Ukraine. And it's probably the stupidest thing he's done. Think for a moment, unless, of course, he wants to die. Now, think for a moment that you get caught and you're an American or a Canadian and they bring you into Russia for questioning. You're a prize. You're not a Ukrainian soldier. You're an American. I mean, can you imagine them sacrificing you? They're not going to be very good to you. I'll tell you that right now. I don't think any side would. So maybe James Jagger's on a suicide mission. Maybe he's hoping he gets taken out because he goes out fighting um, instead of with this disease he has. But one thing, and James says in one video, he said that, oh, I'm stupid for doing this. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, you know that. All right, fine. You know. But I can't tell you strong enough that take a good look in the mirror and figure out how to make yourself stronger as you get older. Because as you get older, everything's against you. Everything. You know, keep moving, get some hobbies, do some walking, um, anything. It doesn't have to be you running full out. It could just be a simple walk just to keep the blood moving. But in James Yeager's case, his days of prepping are numbered, and he won't be here much longer. Now, what happens to his business, I'm sure he's making arrange arrangements to fix that. But he talks about it. He has a couple of videos where he says he's going to Ukraine. So, and I wonder how, how many YouTubers have gone to Ukraine. It definitely would boost the channel pretty quick. But are you willing to sacrifice your life for views? Obviously, James is. I'll catch you guys on the next one.